Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Thanks for being here. As always, a little bit ago, a while back, I did a video that I titled How Tough Is My 300 Layer Damascus Bushcraft Knife? And in that video, I took one of my Damascus blades and batoned it through a 2x4, I think it was six times, before it would no longer really shave hair off of my arm. So that was a type of edge retention test. And where the toughness comes in, I believe a, an accurate term of toughness is the ability to handle impact without brittle behavior. And so we might normally think of toughness as in, you know, how much it takes to actually break a blade. But if you're, you know, toward, you know, um, testing to failure or doing something crazy with it, but at the actual edge of the blade, the ability to handle that impact is also a, a important form of toughness. Uh, one of the things that makes blades dull is microchipping at the very edge, and that can often be caused by a poor heat treat or you know misuse of the blade. So today I'm going to do a different type of test. I have another knife here that's a little bit smaller, and it's from a over 250 layer Damascus billet, something like 280-290. And the test we're going to do today is basically edge retention. You could baton with this. Uh, within reason, but it's not designed for that, it's designed for cutting. And so we're going to do a test that's um, more specific to what the blade's for. The other blade that I tested wasn't particularly design, designed for batoning either, but um, obviously it held up just great. So what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use cardboard because it's readily available to me. And while some guys like to use things like sisal rope, etc., cetera, um, cardboard's actually a, a great edge tester because it is rather ab abrasive to the knife edge and basically I just want to see how many cuts I can put into this cardboard before I can't shave the hair on my arm and then after that till it won't really cut the cardboard anymore. So let's get into it. I used a different knife to cut these off so these are the first cuts with this uh, with this knife and just to, to run you through what I've done to the edge so far. Um, the blade is completely finished. <clears throat> after this I'll probably go back and touch it up. Um, make sure that the Damascus contrast is, is nice and pretty still. But the, the blade is completely finished. Um, the only thing lacking on this knife right now is the handle, handle scales. And uh, to sharpen the edge, I do the same thing, did the same thing that I always do, which is put the initial bevel on with the, uh, with the, the belt grinder, a fine grip belt, and then uh, take it to the, uh, the wet stone that I use oil with and then the Arkansas stone, and then finally the leather strop. You probably, I probably hit it eight to 12 times on each side, stropping it, and we have a, an edge that will easily uh, shave hair off of my arm. Very keen, very sharp, um, great, great edge. So let's, let's see what happens. That's 35 cuts. Shaves just as well as it did when I started. So we'll continue on. Seventy-five. So let's check it. Yeah, it's getting a little bit, a little bit duller. I can tell, uh, but it still shaves. Okay, so do a few more here. Okay, that's a hundred, hundred cuts there. So let's check this. All right, it doesn't want to shave. It's not shaving. No, I mean, I can get it to shave up here, but I wasn't cutting anything up right up there hardly, so. Um, 
Well, I mean, I can, yeah, I can get hair to come off, but I wouldn't really call that shaving per se. So 100 cuts, doesn't want to shave anymore. Um, all right, so let's see how, how many cuts until it doesn't want to cut cardboard. That's 150. I mean, you know, I can. It's not as sharp, uh, obviously, but it's still still cutting. So. Hundred sixty-five. You know, I can. Uh, obviously, it's not as sharp, um, but it's. You know, it's still cutting. So, That's uh, 300, um, 300 cuts. It's, you know, it's not as, it's not super sharp compared to shaving, but it's still got an edge on it. Still cuts, still catch the thumbnail. Not as good as a shaving sharp edge. camera automatically stops at a certain amount of time. That was 300 something, like 303 or whatever, so um, yeah. I don't know if I, I don't know if the camera shut off when I said this, but you know, it's, it's, it's getting dull, but it still has an edge. Still cuts. I'm gonna probably get a blister in my finger without without a handle. Okay, that's the first not so good performance right there. Okay, well, that's 320, something like that. Um, I don't know how much longer it can keep going, but I, um, hmm, we gotta find somewhere to put this stuff. Yeah, it, it holds pretty good. So, all right, so, you know, it, it's, it's still sharp-ish, you know, not super sharp. Can't shave. Won't do that, but, but here's, Here's the excellent thing about this this steel right here. So you grab your strop, your leather strop right here. Let me reposition the camera. Is that focused? Looks fairly focused. Okay, so got your leather strop here. It's got a little bit of jewelry com polish compound on it. Not recently. It's pretty worked in, as you can see. So hit that once on each. 
uh, let's say three times on each side. Okay, that's three times each side. All right. Okay, that doesn't quite shave yet. Let's give it three more. Okay. Starting to shave. Let's go three more times. All right. Okay, it could be a little sharper, but it shaves. All right, so that was uh, uh, nine strokes on the strop each side to bring it back to shaving. And that's what's great about this steel. All right guys, thanks for coming along. Hopefully this was informative and maybe even enjoyable watching me cut literally hundreds of pieces of cardboard. Anyway, that's why I love this 1095, 15 and 20 combo. It's a great blade steel makes a beautiful, beautiful knife. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next video.